Welcome back. Today we are getting some more power. And we're going to be using the power reactor. Super great. There are a bunch of different kinds. We're going to be working through, not in just this episode, but we're going to work through the starter and the basic in this episode. That, for the starter reactor, is simple. You need uranite, which is raw uranite that's been smelted. That's also going to be your fuel source. Then you're going to need a basic capacitor, tiny, which is a basic capacitor, which is some dielectric paste, redstone block iron. Then you're going to need some clay, coal, and blaze powder. You're going to need blaze powder. And then once you've got all that, you get your dielectric casing thing, which is the dielectric rods and all that. And then you click it down. You need to have 36 and it will do this cool little automation. I love it. It's a little bit slow and it gets old after you're at your spirited one, but it's still cool to watch. And then you'll have a few slots you can put things in. One is for redstone, one is for coal, and one is for cooling. And another one is for the uranite. And you're going to see that everything is going, the temperature is going really high. It just won't stop. Even when you put ice in. And that's one thing I didn't notice for a while. And you're going to get a lot more power if you put water into it. That's one thing. Just just put some water into it. I don't do it for like a couple episodes. But seriously, just put some water. Use a sink. Use some pipes. And it will be endless power. Or not endless power, but endless water. And yeah. So that is the thing with that. Look, you're creating a decent amount, 73 FE per tick, which is not as much as the other, but the others, the windmill, the wind generator can't be upgraded. So using the reactor, you can upgrade them all the way up to higher. Now with the reactor, I recommend just going straight up to the basic, which requires the starter and then it also requires the basic so it requires the starter and then it requires some other bigger stuff and then you can get to your hard end which is going to require some energized steel and a few other things the dielectric paste things like that to get the energized steel you're going to have that so and it's just a gold iron and yeah, you grab these energizing rods. And for this one that I have, I have it set up with the nitro. That is a little bit overkill for this point. But you're going to be wanting to start with the starter or the basic. The basic is going to be a good place to start. It's cheap. So you got cords, some of the little processor thingies. So five of those, that's going to be good. Yeah, I start off with the basic ones. And then just set up your power. And then you're going to grab your energizing orb. Click it down. And then you set in your gold. Put in your iron. Only one of each. And then boom. There is your energizing ingot. Super useful. And then you can go ahead and upgrade to your hardened capacitors. Which lets you upgrade to your hardened reactor and get more power. Super useful. And the basic capacitor is two of the big, two of the normal capacitors. And then you do that, and you are now upgraded to the hardened power reactor. That is super useful. Put everything back in, and you have a bunch of power going in. This is my automation setup. It requires a lot of power. And so it takes up. You're going to want to automate everything because it's really time consuming to not automate. So check out my next video so you can see how to automate everything.